things that do unto you to just keep crying.
Lord, we thank you this morning. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has listened to the word of God. And this morning, the Spirit of God is telling you. Yes. I want you to tell you. Your neighbor that I am blessed and highly favored. I am blessed and highly favored. I am blessed and highly favored. I want you to tell them, never tell them, never, that I am blessed and highly favored. 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 I am now entering into today's Hallelujah. I need the silent in the house this morning. I need the silent in the house of the Lord this morning. May I have the silent this I know the spirit is high, but I need the silent. I, I, I was, you know, last week I preached about this woman with so much faith. But now the, the, the question with us as Christians is about how do we increase this faith? Amen. How do we increase this faith? If you think about Abraham, Abraham, when God says to him, Take your son and go and sacrifice him. The Bible says Abraham was a friend of God. Am I correct? He was a friend of God. But now God is coming to him at his old age with his only son, with the Hawaii Sarah. 
But God says, now I want you to take your son and go and sacrifice him. Amen. Is the faith. He walked on faith, trusting the Lord. But I believe in my heart that Abraham was broken inside. Amen. Abraham could not believe it inside. That how can I now go and sacrifice this child? Abraham did not even go and consult with the wife. Did not go to the wife and say, do you think it's the right thing? Do you think I'm hearing correctly? That God now today is asking me to go and sacrifice this child. But the Bible says, if you read the Bible, Abraham was one person who had so much faith in God. And let me tell you, where there is a will of God, there is a provision. Amen. That's something that Abraham knew, that where there is the will of God, there is a provision. I want you to know that whatever God says you will do, you will do it. He will never change from his word. Amen. Amen. Now, how do we increase this faith? If we read the book of James, chapter 2, verse 26. Can somebody read for us the word of God? Are you having Bible? Can, can I see? Can I read books? Can I see your pen? And tell us, this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I am what it says I will have. Amen. So you have your Bible. So you hold to your Bible. You keep your Bible. That is the word of God. Amen. 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 Anyone who wants to read for us James 2, 26, James chapter 2, verse 26. James chapter 2, verse 26. Yes. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. If there is not the soul, inside that the body will be dead. Amen. 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 If there is no spirit, there's something that we need to know as a Christian. There's a spirit that is inside of us. Is the spirit that raised Christ from the dead. Amen. And that spirit, we need to activate it with the word of God. And as you activate it with the word of God, that's when your, your faith builds. Amen. You start building your faith. You start building your faith. But then I have a few steps that I'm going to share with you regarding the faith. How do we exercise this faith? How do we get this faith into the core of our hearts? Amen. Amen. You know, it is not enough to proclaim that Jesus is God. Jesus is, is you know, we, we as Christians, we, we get into that habit that, oh, Jesus is Lord. Are you saying it from your heart? Mm. Are you saying he's really the Lord of your life? Are you believing in his word? We shouldn't just say it. You have to say it. You know, we, with passion that he is the Lord. It should be seen in our action for this reason. If you want to improve your faith, make sure that you exercise it. Hallelujah, thank you so much. Lord. If you want to improve your faith, you have to exercise it. You know, trusting and answering God could be difficult, especially to 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 to, uh, to the to those people who says to cease to believe it. To cease to believe it. They were yes. <laughs> they want to see it first before they believe it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, yesterday when I was preparing the word and I was in a prayer, I said, you know, we love praying about wanting God to, 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 
to give us money. Don't ask God for money. Mm. Just go, just ask God for his word. Mm. Because his word will prosper you. Yes. There Amen. is wisdom in the word of God. Amen. And God is the one who provides whatever you need. God will provide for yeah. you. Amen. So when you pray, let us stop praying for money. Amen. Let us pray for God's will upon our life. Like I said, if it is the will of God, there will be a provision. When the Israelites were in the wilderness, God provided them Amen. for all their needs. Amen. 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 God can turn this. Jesus turned the water into wine. God can turn the, the stones into a bread if you believe in him. Jesus had two, five loaves of bread and two, lo and, and two fishes. And after the breaking, there was the multiplications that they could not even contain it. There was so much that they, there was a leftover of bread after the breakings. So don't go and ask God for money. Amen. Ask God for his way. Amen. The book of Matthew 6.33 says, Seek first the kingdom of God Amen. and his righteousness Amen. and everything that you need. You know, you sometimes we listen to people giving um, the testimonies that they will tell you that, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, somebody came and said, here is the car. Mm. Have a car. You don't have to pay me. Mm. You will see people say, coming with testimonies that mm. somebody said to me, come and live in my house for free. Mm. You don't have to pay anything. Yeah. Mm. A testimony, hey, I had a sister here in the house of the Lord that when she was going through trials and tribulation, where she was, she didn't know what to do, where to run to. You know what, what happened most of the time? When we are in trouble, we think of other people who will help us. And God becomes the last resolution in our life. Put God first. You will see what you will do. This woman, she came to me and she says, Mama, I don't know. I just took a walk to the beach because now the, the tenant wants me to leave the place. I had to leave this place and I don't know where to go. I don't have money. I didn't know what to do. I took a walk. I was walking in Blaubeck Beach, just walking like a mad woman. Just talking to myself, but I wasn't talking to myself, I was talking to God. She said one woman came and approached her and she says, Why do you look so miserable? Why you you look miserable? What's wrong? What is your problem? And she starts explaining to this woman. And this woman says, No, my daughter, she's got a place. She's been looking for somebody to go and occupy that place. Mm. Let me phone my daughter and see if my daughter will accommodate Amen. you. Even today, this woman still staying there. Oh, wow. She did not pay the deposit mm. for Amen. that place. Hallelujah. Do you see how God works oh, yeah. in our life? Oh, yeah. Amen. Do we see the faith that we have to put? in ourselves to know that God is for us. Yeah. Nobody will be against us when we trust him. Amen. When the mother phones, the, the daughter says, oh yes, mama, please, please, bring her, bring her. With so much joy. Amen. We know that to look for accommodation, to find a place to stay, stay here in Cape Town is not easy, it's difficult. Double deposits. Double the deposit. But the, the, the landlord, the owner says, no, let her come. She didn't even ask how much she's going to, to afford. Uh, the pay slip, the bank statement, mm, nothing. God. God removed the protocols yes, for his God. own yeah. people. Amen. All things yeah. work together Amen. for good. Amen. For with those who love the Lord, Amen. trust him. Amen. Have faith in him. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.
how to increase your faith in God. If you long to strengthen your faith in God, here are some steps that hopefully they will help you. Hallelujah. The first one is says, be prayerful. Amen. Be prayerful. Have time with your Lord. Have time with your Lord. Can I give you another testimony? When my mother was, when my mother, her oh, bless the soul, God, um, I'm talking about my late mother, my biological mother. She says there was a time where people were going to attack her. You know, like when you when you are in, in, in politics, sometimes you will find people that will work against you as yeah. a mob. And this group of people, they went, I don't want to tell you from which, which uh, uh, what um, party, but they went to her house and they toy toy. We know yeah. toy toying. Yeah. <laughs> and they were toy toying. And she doesn't know whether these people that they come in to burn my house or they come in to take me out or they come in to do it. Yeah. And she says, while they were protesting in front of the house, making a noise, singing and doing all sorts of things. Yeah. And she says she was sitting on the veranda when that happened. She said she stood up from the veranda. She went into the house, into her bedroom, into her closet, and she started kneeling down. She started praying. She started praying. After praying, she got out and she went outside. They were all gone. My God. They were all gone. Amen. So, family, I want you to trust the Lord. Amen. Amen. That's true. I want you to trust the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Prayer is powerful. Amen. It's when you start communicating with God. Yes. You're pouring out your heart to God. Yeah. The more you talk in the, uh, the first one, be be more powerful, be more prayerful. 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 Sorry, sorry, family. The more you talk to God, like He is just sitting in front of you. Mm the more you are persuaded that God is there with you. I don't know if some of you have felt that when you are pressed, when you are pressed and you start praying and you feel that there is something, there's a heaviness, there is something in this room. The spirit of God is, is in this room. That now you are persuaded yeah. because you can feel his presence Amen. in that place. Yeah. And you can start pouring your heart to him. Talk to God yeah. about anything that worries you. Talk to God. Amen. You know, we, we as a human being, sometimes we want to run to the pastor. Sometimes he wants to run to the neighbor. Sometimes he wants to t pick up the phone and call somebody. And the, the, the worst part of it is when we start sending these messages to the TikTok or to anything. We call it TikTok and what? Messengers, whatever that we Instagram. Instagram it's not going to help you. Yeah, that's true. It is not going to help yeah. you. Amen. Go into your closet. Amen. Start talking to God Amen. about the things that worries you, Amen. about the things that makes you weak, mm. about your sickness, yeah. about your family, yeah. about your husband, Amen. about your, your neighbor. Start talking to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Wonderful. Number two. Read God's word. Read the word of God. Amen. It says, you will only feel secure if your faith, you will only feel secure in your faith if you are confident that the God you believe exists exist you, you know it ta you take a step a faithful step to take the word of god when you you you, you are burdened 
but whatever, by whatever, and you take this word of God, you start reading it, there is so much peace in it. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. It helps you to grow. It helps you to believe that God indeed is alive. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says the best way to draw closer to God is through his word. Nothing else will draw you closer to God if you don't read the word. If you want to know the mind of God about you, you start there. If you want to know the promises of God in your life, you start there in the word of God. I don't care whether you are a doctor, you are a professor, you are a scientist, you are what, but let me tell you, the word of God itself has a power. And the word of God itself is alive. It speaks to us every day. It speaks to our situation every Amen. day. It Amen. speaks. Amen. It's alive. Hallelujah. Jesus. The Bible does not only give wise teaching on how Christians should live, but it also gives a glimpse of how God revealed himself to people in the past. When you start reading the word, then you start understanding. It takes you to the background. It takes you to the to the not not to the background to the to the past to to not the background. Uh, English sometimes, guys. It takes you to to uh, to the roots. <laughs> takes you to the roots. Yeah. It, it takes you to uh, not to the. <laughs> Amen. It takes you to the foundation yes. of its word. Amen. But that's not the word that I was looking It takes you to the foundation. And the foundation is the Old Testament. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. To the beginning. To the beginning. But still not the word In for the me. Beginning. Yes. First words of the Bible. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The more you spend time <clears throat> you devote in studying the Bible, the more you get to know God's character and the past believers' testimony and how they experience the Lord's power. Number three, study the lives of biblical characters. We are going to see who are these biblical characters. I just took from the Bible the few of them. Hallelujah. Amen. Another way to increase your faith is by introducing yourself to the Bible character who lives. Okay, I'll read that. You you would realize that these people were all were as Im imperfect as we are. They were not perfect. Amen. They were not perfect. Nobody is perfect. Amen. Even if they, they, they call it, it's a prophet. Amen. Even if they call it, it's, 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 it's a bishop. Amen. Whatever Amen. names that is, El President, Amen. no one is perfect Amen. in the eyes of God. Amen. We might see that that person looks perfect in no ways. No ways. Amen. 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 Mm. And it says some of the biblical characters who presented wholehearted faith in God were Noah. Mm. Were Noah. I don't know if you know the story of Noah. Noah, God told Noah to go and build the ark because there is going to be a flood. And Noah, he, he took the word of God and he ran with it. He started applying the action, the faith to the word of God. Amen. That was the action. And he started preaching to people that, guys, come. Oh, 
Abraham that he took his son there was no doubt on Abraham there is no, there was no doubt guys family do you hear me he took his son and when he was it shows that he was going to do it when he was about to put his son the knife he put his son on the altar, that place of, of sacrifice that God sent him to go in that place to, to slaughter, to, to sacrifice his son. And the son, when he's asking, say, Father, where is the animal? And when he lifted up his hand, God stopped him. He provided him for the animal to be slaughtered. Amen. God always responds at the last moment. Amen. Have you noticed that? Amen. True. When you are like saying, ah, I'm giving up. I am tired. I am giving up. You're not actually, if you are a Christian, if you believe in God, it doesn't mean you are giving up. You say, God, take this burden. Take this I'm handing over to you. I can't do it anymore. Do it for me. And God, he provides. Hallelujah. I want to talk about Hannah. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. This is faith. From barren to a mother of six. Amen. From burden to the mother of six Amen. because of her faith. Amen. When when Penina was, was tormenting Hannah and calling her names, Amen. Hannah went into the temple. She started, she started praying. Amen. She started praying to God. Amen. Amen. 
The priest thought that this woman is drunk. This woman she's drunk. He says, Woman, how do you come into the house of the Lord drunk? You know, when you start praying in spirit, the spirit of God intercedes for you. The spirit of God knows exactly how to pray for your situation. When Hannah was down there, the tears were pouring. God answered her prayers and Hannah, she made a promise to God when she left the place like Jesus he said to this woman your, your faith has healed your daughter priest said to, to, to Hannah go because your, your faith God has healed your faith your faith it will it will it will be it, it will manifest if I may put it that way and Hannah left the Bible says when Hannah started giving birth Penina was losing children when Hannah gave the second child Penina left to the uh, buried two children when Hannah gave the fourth child Penina lost the eight children mm. my God double blessings God says I will fight your battles mm. Whatever challenges that you are going through, mm -hmm. you must know that when God answered that prayer, oh, yes. prayer that you have done in yeah. faith, yeah. God, when he gives you, Amen. your enemy will be oh, ashamed. Yes. Yeah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. The promise that Hannah made. He said to God, if you give me a son, I will dedicate this son into the temple mm -hmm. to serve in your house. Mm -hmm. By faith, she received the child mm -hmm. and she gave back to God. Hallelujah. Amen. We come into the house of the Lord and we say, God, please, God help me. If you can do this for me, I will dedicate my life into the house. Yeah. And give start giving you things. God start blessing you. And you turn away from your promises. Amen. You turn away from your promises. Let me tell you, there was going to be more to come. More to come. Penina, she asked God for a child. There were number one. Number two. As number two comes, uh, uh, um, Hannah prayed for the child. And there was her one, two. As one, two comes, Penina was busy losing the children. Mm. Virgency belongs to God. Amen. If you are a child of God, don't, don't revenge. That's true. Don't curse. Bless Amen. them. Hallelujah. Amen. Now I want to talk about Peter. The Bible says Peter, when he was in chain from, from preaching the gospel of Christ, the church was earnestly praying for Peter. It was the faith. They prayed in faith that God will release Peter from the prison. They didn't know how God is going to release Peter from the prison. But the church earnestly start praying. We need to start to pray for one another. Amen. We need to start standing in the gap for one another. Amen. We need to come as a body of Christ and pray. Amen. Pray earnestly Amen. from your heart. Yeah. Let me tell you something. When you pray for somebody and the blessings comes upon that person, do you know that you also receive? 
When the church was busy praying, the prison doors opened. The chain fell from, from Peter. He walked out of prison. Walked out out of prison. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I want to, to, to read the book of 2 Kings, chapter 19, verse 19. Chapter 19, verse 19. Second Kings, chapter 19, verse 19. I'll read. Now, therefore, O Lord our God, I pray, save us from his hand, that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that you are God, you alone. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible tells us that that was the time that Jerusalem was under siege. That time Hezekiah stood up. By his faith, he started praying to God. Hallelujah. He says, God save our people from the hands of the enemy. And it happened. So whatever challenges that you are going through, your family is under attack. You, start, you have to start standing up and praying for your family. You cannot allow the enemy to attack your family. You cannot allow your family to perish if you know the word of God, Amen. if you trust in the Lord, if you have faith in the Lord, Amen. you cannot allow your family, you cannot allow your marriage to, 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 to be destroyed. Hallelujah. Amen. So we need to pray all the time. Number four, it says, be surrounded by people who are passionate about God. Who are your friends? They said, birds of the same feather flocks together. Mm. Who are your friends? He said, show me your friends. <laughs> then I will tell you. <laughs> yeah. Show me your friends. Who are your friends as a child of God? Yeah. We don't say, You are better than, than them who are in the world, but you cannot associate yourself with people who go to tavern day and night, mm. who spend their lives at the nightclubs, no. who lives according to, like, lives like there is no tomorrow. Mm. We cannot. I'm not saying go and, and, and you need to go and preach the gospel to them. Mm. Because you love, that's, that's love. When you start preaching the gospel to the people of God, it shows that you care about those people. You love them because the Bible says, a death of a sinner grieves the heart of God. God loves us all. God loves us all. Whether you are a sinner or you're not a sinner, God loves us. Amen. And God doesn't want us to perish. He doesn't want us to die. He did not create us to perish. He did not create us to overpowered by evil. If you want to be on fire for God, <clears throat> be surrounded by believers who have strong faith in the Lord. You will recognize, recognize those people through the word, actions, and lifestyle. We've seen the, the it says you will recognize those people through the words of their mouth. Mm. Mm. That's true. You will recognize them. Yeah. I love 
why? Because, you know, sometimes um, I will talk to somebody, something that is not actually related to the Bible, but because uh, we are agreeing on that, we are agreeing on that on something, we talk about something which is out from the Bible, and instead of so, oh yes, I agree with you, I know, oh, amen, <laughs> amen, amen. amen. <laughs> you understand? And later on, and I thought, is this person, oh, okay, amen. <laughs> how was your, how was your day? My day it was good. Oh, bye, amen. <laughs> Amen. It's like, you know, like, yes, I'm losing it. Sometimes I look and I said, God, am I losing it? <laughs> because I was supposed to, <laughs> you know. Anyway, the actions, you see them by actions. Sometimes they said, talk is cheap. Talk is cheap. Don't tell people that you are Christian. Let them see your walks in life that you are Christian. Hallelujah. Amen. Your lifestyle must represent yeah. Amen. the body of Christ. Amen. Represent the glory of God. Amen. Represent your church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. By the way, remember the Bible. God said, Jesus said to Peter, you are the rock. Upon you I will build my church. Amen. And no Amen. gates of hell will prevail it. You are the rock sitting there. Amen. You are the church of God. I remember during the, 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 the COVID, I was busy in my garden, uh, removing the weeds from between the flowers, removing the weeds. And, um, you know, um, in my spirit, it was laid in my spirit that, you know what? <laughs> There's no church. Everything is closed. Nothing is happening. It's dead. You know that time, 2020, I think we've forgotten about 2020, how terrible was 2020 during the COVID. You were even scared to open the window to see what's happening outside. And I was outside here doing the garden, removing the weed. And the word was, was, was what came heavily says, Upon you, I will build my church, and no gates of hell will prevail. You are the church yourself. Amen. Whether the, the, the buildings were closed, it doesn't stop me to worship him. It doesn't stop me to pick up the phone and encourage another woman, Amen. encourage another man of God, Amen. encourage them with the word of God, Amen. because the word of God is inside of me. Amen. Amen. This thing, this word of Amen. God, Amen. has so much power inside of it's locked inside of me. Amen. And once it's locked inside of me, there's a time that I have to unlock it. Amen. Because I am the church. I am the rock. I need Amen. to preach it. Amen. The gospel of God is for every one of us. Amen. Hallelujah. Number five, I'm trying to cut off some of the notes that I've done. Number five, listen to testimonies about, I should not leave this one. There are believers who remain positive in spite, despite of troubles and find strength through prayers. So I'm encouraging you, despite your challenges, find time to fight your battles in prayer. Amen. In prayer. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Amen. Listen to testimonies about answered prayers and miracles. That is number five. Amen. I don't see people taking notes, but anyway, I, I'm going to, 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 to send this so you will have it on the, uh, on you will have the notes, I'll send the notes. Um, if you are looking for stories to inspire you, to keep trusting God, listen to real stories about how God answered prayers Amen. and perform miracles. Find how God is real in many lives and he, he really listened to prayers, will encourage you to trust in him. Listen to inspired Amen. testimony, stories, Amen. stories of people. People will give you, you know, when I listen to people's testimony, I claim it, I said, Lord, thank you. I am I'm, I'm counted in those blessings. Thank you, Jesus. Let me tell you something, family. You find people when you start giving testimonies. They said, ah, who does she think she is? How can she receive that? How can she, out of all people, why her? Mm. Why him? And you know what? <laughs> you walk around with this heaviness in yeah. you, this anger, this bitterness mm. that caused so much in your life that you can't even go back and pray. Amen. Because you are so jealous about what God is doing for other Amen. people. No, you know when, when people come with testimonies mm. that my child has got a job, mm. that my child has been accepted at the university, mm. that Amen. this has happened. Amen. You know what? Just glorify God. Amen. Be excited. Amen. Be excited that God, if you can do it for her, you yes. can also do Amen. it for me. I receive it. Amen. I claim it Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It is also mine. It's coming. It's coming Amen. at the right time. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It says, God answer prayer and perform miracles. Amen. You know, if you read the book of Hezekiah, I want you to open the book of Hezekiah, uh, 2 Kings, verse 20, 2, 2 Kings chapter 20, verse 3. Second Kings chapter 20 verse 3. Okay. I'll read, uh, remember now, O oh Lord, I pray, how I have walked before you in truth. How I walked before you. In truth and with a loyal heart. In truth and <laughs> with, with a loyal, loyal heart. heart. Yes. And have done what would be in your sight. And Hezekiah wept. Italy. Amen. Amen. That was the time when the prophet went to Hezekiah and said, now you are going to die. But Hezekiah, he, he cried out to God. He started praying to God. He says, remember me, almighty God, how I was faithful to you. Remember me. Can you spare my life? And God listened to that prayer because that prayer was made in faith in God. That God, I have walked before you. I've trusted you. I've done everything that was good. Can you reward me with the goodness of having a good life again? Please, God. Amen. And God gave him another 15 years. Yeah. When you've got health challenge, remember to go back to God in your prayer, in your closet, and say, God, help me. Remove this pain in me. Remove this sickness. Restore my health. I pray, I cry to you. I still have young children that I need to raise them. I still have a family that still needs me. 
please God, I cry to you. Amen. You know my works. Amen. You remember my works, God. Amen. Remember me, Almighty yes. God. Hold God to His word, His promises. Hallelujah. Amen. Number six, know that God is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. He will never change. He will never change. Trust Him. Amen. The same thing that He did to the Israelites in the Old Testament, parting the sea for them to cross, is the same God of today who will sort the things out for you, that who will part the things for you to be able to go through. He yeah. says, God, go before me. I don't know what is before me, but I want your presence to lead me. Yeah. Be beside me, Almighty God, in my weakness, yeah. when I don't know what to do, when the life is failing me, when everything is just, it's just a chaos in my life. Be beside me. Help me, raise me up. And he says, God, I, I, I'm walking, but I don't know what is behind me. I don't know who's holding anything behind me to, to destroy me. But in your word, Almighty God, you say, whatever weapon is formed against me shall not prosper. Because he is, before, he is behind me. He's a faithful God. Hallelujah. This yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Are you excited, family? Yes. Are you getting this? Amen. This is the teaching about faith. Amen. The teaching about faith. What is this faith? How do we exercise this faith in this world that is full of misery? Where there's so many churches popping out, coming yeah. with lies. We don't know whom to, to, to believe to. Because there's so many prophets. But the Bible also warns us about those prophets. But the word of God also says, in the last day, <laughs> I shall pour my, the Spirit upon the, my sons and daughters. Only the Spirit of God will do the work in them. They will prophesy. They will, the, the old people, they will see visions and they will dream dreams. Even the young people, they will still see visions. That is the word of God. Even if there is these churches yeah. that comes like the, 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 the like sheep under the wolf, mm. under wolves under the sheep skin, <laughs> let me tell you, just have trust in God, believe in God, Amen. Believe in His word, mm. and you can only know it if you know your word. Yeah. But if you don't know your word, you find yourself. Yeah. Be misled. Amen. You'll find yourself selling your soul oh, to the wolves. Yeah. You need to know the word of God. The Bible says, My people are perishing Amen. because of lack of knowledge. Amen. Know the word of God. Amen. The word of God is your weapon. Yes. Your word of God is, 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 is your, your right. It's, you, you know what? You know that you know. Amen. You know that. No, 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 no. This is not in the word of yeah. God. Amen. It is not in the word of yeah. God. And Amen. when it's not in the word of God, if you find yourself in a church like that, mm. lift up. Dust off your feet yeah. and leave. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Seek Amen. the ways of the Lord Amen. and His righteousness. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Number seven, keep a journal of answered prayer. 
We used to call it a diary from old school. We say diary. <laughs> I've got my diary from the old school. But now with the new English, they say journal. You are in a journey, that journal, everything that just write it down. Amen. Amen. Keep the list of answered prayers is another effective way to increase your faith. You remember where God take you from. You understand? <coughs> and the minute you go, when, 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 like, you're losing hope, when, like, something, just go to your journal, remind yourself, where God put me off from, from, from the dust. You know, I had these challenges. This was happening, but God came through. Amen. 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 Reading them over <clears throat> again and again mm. when you are discouraged Amen. will remind you that prayers work. Amen. Well, you know when you have a journal and you read it, sometimes we will receive so many blessings that we forget. Amen. But when you put them on a paper and when challenges come and you go back and read, that rebirth it ignites your soul. Amen ignites your spirit. It reminds you who you are in Christ, Amen. that you can never forget who God is in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There are many things that, you know, if I, I have to give you my testimony, you have to come to make an appointment, come to my house because it's going to be the whole day. Oh, Mama, if you invite me to your house, please pre prepare breakfast. <laughs> lunch and supper. Amen. Then I'll come and give you my testimonies. Amen. 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 I'm just joking, but uh, you know what? When when you share the word of God, you don't feel hungry. Yeah. You just there's a drive in you. Amen. There's certain that that fills you. You don't. And later on, that's when you realize, oh, I didn't eat the whole day. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Keep your journal. It will also inspire you to fight every battle on your knees. Every battle on your knees. I'm looking at the time. I'm left with nine minutes. <clears throat> I need to go. I need to, to rush. Um... I need to respect the time as well. Somewhere I said, don't mess up with powerful women and men of God. Amen. Don't mess up with a prayerful woman and men of God. Amen. Don't. That's don't. I have listened to a woman on, on, on Facebook. An ex Sangoma, ex Sangoma, testifying and saying, Don't mess up with a prayerful person. Amen. This woman says, I was so strong, I was called Baba. In this uh, ritual, things I was uh, the biggest witch, mm -hmm. nothing was too difficult for me. When time comes, I know that they also have confidence in me mm -hmm. because they know that I'm strong when mm -hmm. it comes to, to this uh, witchcraft. Mm -hmm. and people that respected me, people who are not in Christ, mm -hmm. they respected her mm -hmm. because she was lost. But she says, I was called Baba. <laughs> they were called her Baba because a man is the head, is the mm. first power. Mm. Baba gives you, you are a man, there's a, there's a power in you, you are the head of the family, you are not yes. the tail, yes. you are the head. Mm. And she, she, she claimed that she was, and she says, let me tell you, let me tell you something. She says, I, I've been through waters, mm. I've been through fires, mm. I've been to Mozambique, I've been to Ghana, I've been to Uganda, I've been to European countries, I've, I've been through fire. Mm. I've been through fire, I know these things, nobody, I'm talking about my life. This is the woman saying that it's, uh, it's uh, a song of my witch, 
and then she says, nothing was too difficult for me. I will cross the sea, I will jump the fires to go and do the assignment of the evil one. She says, but there's one. There are people that I could not touch them, mm. that I could not penetrate yeah. them, that I could not destroy mm. them, is the people that are in Christ yeah. and that they are praying. Mm. Not just in Christ, but prayerful. Yeah, that's true. Prayerful. Yeah. She says, I lost a lot of money for Christians. That I took money from people because I know I was going to do the job. But the minute I realized that this person is praying, I could not. Mm -hmm. But this is the word of encouragement Amen. to you this morning. Amen. You know that there is no witch mm -hmm. that will touch you when you are in Amen. Christ. Amen. When you pray, yeah. the enemy loses the power. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. There is power. Amen. There is no other name that yes. is above the name of Jesus. Amen. Everything soon, everything get destroyed. Amen. Everything sees away. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When you call that name, Amen. Ooh, call it in faith. Yeah. Amen. Call it in faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So knows that if you are in prayer, the witch will never touch you. He says, I flew, I went, uh, uh, you know, when you are a witch, you use anything to, to fly. I fly, I went somewhere. I could not even, that house I could not because I saw the angels of God surrounding that place. Yeah. The angels of God were surrounding that place. I could not go in there. So family, keep your faith. Trust in the Lord. Keep on praying. Amen. Keep on praying. Amen. That is your, 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 what is that? Weapon. Your weapon. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. That is your weapon. Amen. We are in number seven. Number eight. Number eight. Yeah. Remember his faithfulness in the past. Amen. When you are discouraged and start doubting God's love, remember what he has done for you in the past. If God could not answer your prayer, could not if God could answer your prayers, protect you from harm, and make things happen for you for your good, for you good before surely he will still do them now you need to trust him amen. you need to trust him amen, amen. you know what fail us god doesn't fail us mm. it's us who fail ourselves yeah, yeah. the problem is not with god yeah. the problem is with us mm -hmm. because we are not faithful amen. Amen. god doesn't change his yeah. ways the Bible was written many years ago yeah. and is still active even today. Amen. Hallelujah. Number nine. We've got the number 10, which will be the last one. Watch Christian movies highlighting God's faithfulness. Encourage your children to watch Christian movies. Encourage them. Any movie that highlighting the power of God, every movie that highlighting God's faithfulness, let your children watch it. You know, children, that Jesus says that the, the kingdom of heaven is for the children. Amen. You know the faith of the child. <laughs> When they believe in something, when they have faith in something, you cannot even do anything. Once you say something to your child, mom, um, um, Papa Gift and Mama Shubi, the child was sick. But you know what the Word of God says? Teach them the Word of God. They will never depart from them. When, when Mama Shubi was, you know what the Satan does? He brings confusion. Yes. He brings doubts yeah, to us. Mm -hmm. He knows our future. Yeah. 
He knows the plan of God in our life. And when Mama should be, she was going through challenges with the auntie, with desire, the child. And she was confused, not knowing what to do, even forgetting to pray. Her children stood up for her. Amen. Her children start praying. Yeah. Her children start praying Amen. and miracles start happening. Yeah. And when I received the message, they were saying, the child cannot breathe. Mm -hmm. The child cannot breathe. She's just lying there. We tried everything. He's not breathing. Yeah. Wow. I could just see mama going up and down. <laughs> Confusion. Amen. And the children that no ways, no weapon is formed against That's this child true. will prosper. No ways, no ways, it's not going to happen. Amen. It's not, we're speaking the blood of Jesus yeah. Christ upon yeah. this child from the head of, to the sole of her feet. Yeah. He is alive, Amen. he's healed yeah. in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. And the child today is here. Yeah. The ambulance came, today the child is alive yeah. because these children, they lift you up in yeah. prayer. Yeah. So let us teach our children these things. Let them watch the movies. Hallelujah. There's a movie called The War Room. Who have watched that? The War Room. <laughs> that, that movie will compel you to pray. That movie will make you understand that it's the faith that changes everything. Amen how you see things mm -hmm. hallelujah. Amen. hallelujah you know many christian movies ignite your faith so let's stop watching nonsense mm -hmm. you know we become what we see on tv mm -hmm. We become what we, I, was, I used to love gener as a generation and uh, Rhythm City and the scandal. Those are all my memories. And my reasoning was like those women that the, the, I was watching every day, how I respond to certain things. So those things, they, they become like part of you. They influence you mm -hmm. to become that Tandaza, to become like whoever who yeah. said, you know. So let us, and when you, you, you watch the, 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 the Christian movie, they compel you to, yeah. and they ignite your soul Amen. and you start praying. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I, I was also thinking about uh, the the book of Job when Job was was he was sick he lost everything but in his in everything that he lost lost animals well uh, let me say he lost his wealth he lost his children and he, he lost even his health his own health but he says God Lord even when you, even if, though you have slain me Amen. I will still trust in you. Yeah. Amen. Whatever that you have lost in life, Amen. you must know that God will restore it. Oh, yes. God will bring it back. Amen. Oh, yes. Amen. We just have to, to, to look for him, find him yeah. in our walks of life. Yeah. Find him when you wake up in the morning. Amen. Tell God that, God, I thank you that I'm Amen. still alive. Amen. I thank you that the breath that, that is inside of my lungs Amen. comes from you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In closing, I spoke about the, I want you to go and watch another movie. It's called Miracles from Heaven. The Soul Server, who watched The Soul Server? Go and watch it. The Breakthrough, God is Not Dead. Oh, there's a lot of, of films, movies that will encourage you. And, and build up your faith in God. Amen. Amen. Up, and those are the true stories. True stories. The last one in closing. Appreciate God's marvelous creation. 
appreciate God's marvelous creation. You know, our prophetess memory, she says, everything in the beginning, everything was created through the spoken word. Amen. Spoken word. God speaks things into existence. And once you start appreciating these marvelous things, the creation of God, and you look around the sky, that's when you start saying, oh God, this was, was created for us, for me, just to look at this beautiful painting. You're looking at the sky, and you're looking at the clouds, the trees and the mountains, flowers, the beach, and he says, through the spoken word, God created the bed of the earth, of the sky or the earth. He created the fishes of the sea. So through the spoken word. So what is that that is difficult for us to believe in the word of God? When he was creating all these things, he started with everything. Amen. And the last creation was us. Amen. Why the last creation was us? Because he wanted us to have authority above everything. He wanted us to enjoy everything that he has created. He wanted us to walk with dominion. Dominion. That they, 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 we, I, I'm, I'm, I'm the king. I'm the one. I'm, you know, I'm in control here. And I can eat whatever is there. I can go into the sea and get the, the, the fish and eat. He created everything for us to enjoy through the spoken word. Amen. 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 Even today, in your prayer, you can speak things into existence. Whatever that situation you want to change, you can change it through your spoken way. Amen. Speak it into existence. You will see it manifesting. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't speak cares upon other people because when it manifests, it's going to manifest into you as well. Yes. So speak life. Bless people. Rejoice in the Lord. Amen. 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 You know, um, and sometimes we look at the complicity and the beauty of the natural wonders of God. And we, we start seeing that he, he, he was, he is the intelligent designer. He designed us in such a way you look in the palm of your hand and you just, you just become amazed and ask yourself that through this palm of my hands, there is life. Amen. Do you agree with me? Amen. Amen. There are nerves, there are cells that are connecting into your heart, mm. that they're transporting the blood, that even your heart is transporting the blood into the cells for you to be able to do this, for you to be able to touch things, for you to be able to feel that I'm still alive, I'm still have this, you know? It's, 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 it's beyond our comprehension. If you, you look at, at the fingerprint, the fingerprint, think about is it, do I say billions, billions, billions of people on earth, but not even one single person will have a matching fingerprint. How amazing is that? Not even a single person, even the identical twins, they cannot have the same fingerprints. The God that we serve. So family, in closing, Trust in the Lord. Amen. Trust in the Lord. Think about and just sometimes just sit and say, Yes, God, you are amazing, marvelous God. Hey, you have done miracles, mighty God. Amen. This is the words of the Lord in me. The word was spoken. 
and I came alive. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we please just stand up in our feet? Can somebody bless us with such a, a, a song? Any song that is in your heart? For one minute, any song that is in your heart? And I will sing of the goodness of God. For all my life you have been faithful. And all my life you have been so, so. I want to use this opportunity to say if he wants to give your life to Christ please do so this is the time this is the opportunity for you to say God I want to surrender my life to you I want you to use me I want to believe in your word, Almighty God. You know, if you read the book of Joshua, uh, Joshua chapter 1, verse 8, God says, This book of law shall not depart from you. Amen. It shall not depart from your mouth. In prayer, you shall also meditate on it day and night. And once you start doing that, your ways will prosper. I just want to read, I just love it when it's written in the King James Version. I will read it. It says, This book of law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that, that thou must observe to do according to all that is written herein. For, they, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. So I'm giving you this opportunity. Once you accept him, this is the way of life, to live according to his laws to meditate on his word. And when you start meditating and reading his word, day and night, it's going to give you the wisdom. Wisdom do what? Prospers. So we start to become prosperous in life and we'll have a good life. I want to leave this opportunity to prophet memory, to pray for those who wants to dedicate their life to Jesus Christ, to pray to those who, are, who wants to rededicate themselves because we are sinners. Every day of our life we sin. We need to reconnect to that power We need to say, God, give me faith Amen. to trust in you. Amen. Give me faith to believe in your word Amen. so I may prosper, yeah. so I may not be ashamed Amen. of the gospel of Christ. I am going to leave this opportunity to prophet memory, to pray for those who want to dedicate their life to Christ. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.